happy Thursday, friends. I hope you're doing well. I sure do miss you, but I wanted to just talk to you today about what do we usually do on Thursdays in the morning. We usually do a character card during Bible time. So I thought, I've got a couple character cards here at home. I'm going to share these with my friends. So our first character card is being gentle. And we can see a little girl. It looks like she's helping her mommy push her little sister in a stroller. And there's her mommy. So let's listen to this. And we know with every character card, there's a Bible verse that goes with it from the Bible. And boys and girls, we know that the Bible is God's word. And every word in the Bible is true. So it's important for us to follow God's word and the words of the Bible. So today's verse that goes along with this is 2 Timothy 2.24. Be gentle to all men, to all people. So we need to learn to be gentle to everyone. There are times when we can be loud and we can be playful. There are other times when we must be gentle. When we talk to or play with someone who's smaller than we are, we should be careful that our actions and our words are gentle so we don't frighten or injure them. There are times to be gentle at school. When we get in line, we should be gentle. Never want to push a friend. We should not push and shove to be at the front of the line or to be next to a friend. When we play together on the swings or the slide or out on the playground, we should be gentle. What are some other times and places that we should be gentle, boys and girls? And I miss having you right here on the carpet because usually you would tell me some places. So maybe you can think about it and you can say some places that you could be gentle. I'm thinking about what about being gentle with our pets? You know, a lot of us have kitty cats. I know London has a kitty cat at home. Nora has a kitty. We want to be gentle with our pets. What about when we're helping mommy, maybe mommy or daddy asks us to set the table. We even have some breakable things we have to carry, like some plates or some glasses or some cups. We need to be gentle with those things. Boys and girls, I'm thinking of all of our friends that have little brothers and sisters. I'm thinking about Claire. She has Ellie and Eli. She has two, she's got twins. I know that she plays very gently with them. And Trevor has a little sister, Emmeline. And Logan, I'm thinking about all the fun times you say and things you do with William. I'm thinking of Jacob and his little brother. And I know that Jacob's a good example to his little brother. Ronnie, you've got a couple little ones too at home. And I know you've told me how you try to help Jesus. You try to be a good example to him. And Lillian, we see you being very gentle with Dalton at school when you help to walk him out to Grandpa's car. And Will, we know you're really gentle with your brother too. So boys and girls, it's very important for us to be gentle. Gentle with, with um, our younger brothers and sisters, with our pets. There are times to be gentle at home too. When we're playing with our brothers and sisters, we would never want to push or shove or be rough. So this is our character quality today, is gentle. I have one more for you, too. Today's character quality is being unselfish. Boys and girls, being unselfish means not thinking just about yourself and about what you want. And boys and girls, I know that's hard. Mrs. Hilscher sometimes feels selfish. And I want, and I think about things that I want first. But the Bible tells us in Galatians 5.14, love your neighbor as yourself. And remember we learned this year in our Bible story about the Good Samaritan, that your neighbor is not just the person who lives next door to you, but your neighbor is anyone who needs help, anyone in need. So boys and girls, we should love everyone. And we should think about others more than we think about ourselves. So let's listen to today's char second character trait. And boys and girls, you can see from this picture, there are two boys here. 
and it looks like they're fighting over this stuffed animal teddy bear. He is super cute. I could see where they would both want to play with that teddy bear. So let's listen. When we share, we show others that we love them. We've talked a lot about that at school. When my friends share the markers, the crayons, sometimes I see my friends give up the crayon that they want to color with. Maybe they want to color with the special blue one and someone else wants it and they share it. Do you know you're showing others that you love God and you love them when you're doing that? Would it be right for Jim to always have the toy and not to share it with John? We should share the things that we have. We should also share our jobs. Yeah, our jobs. Would it be right for John to always have, have to set the table while Jim plays? Or maybe for Jim to always have to take the trash out while his brother's watching TV? We need to share our jobs. Boys and girls, I'm thinking of friend of your brothers and sisters at home that you can share with. Maybe share a job with, maybe share your toys with. I'm thinking of Noble. Noble, when you and Nora are playing together, do you share? I know, I've heard you talk about Nora and how you and Nora share your toys. How about you, Nora, you and Andrew? I know that you two are working together to share and be kind to each other. And Annabelle, what about Tyson? Hi, Tyson. Tyson was in my class a few um, years ago. Are you sharing? Are you helping him? Maybe you could help him do something. Um, what about Carly? Carly, you have two big sisters, Callie and Kendall, and I know that you do a great job. You girls work together. I bet you could work together to help mommy and daddy at home, setting the table or doing a chore. And Mr. Lincoln, what about you and Jay? You talk a lot about how you take turns when you play your video games. You and Jay, I know you can take turns and have fun together. And then Hayden, I know those two big brothers of yours, Jackson and Kaysen, and I know you boys are having fun together, taking turns, sharing, and even sharing jobs together too. So boys and girls, today our Bible um, character card is being unselfish. That means thinking of others, maybe before you think about yourself, you guys do a great job on that and I can't wait to hear how you're being kind and being unselfish and you're helping and working together at home with your brothers and sisters all right my friends you've seen me get this out this is our hymnal so I thought today sometimes there's a bible story or not a bible story but there's a little story that goes along with our song, a song that we sing. So this is one that we really, really like. It's called Behold. And I don't know if I've ever read you this part, but I'm going to read it today. And I love this picture because we talk a lot about this um, song and also our song One Door. We talk about our hearts and how Jesus knocks on our heart's door. Does he really come and knock on our heart's door? No. But that knocking is maybe him just saying, let me into your heart. Come in. Let me come into your heart. And boys and girls, we have the choice to open the door to Jesus or to keep it closed. So today I'm going to read this and then we'll sing the song together. That'll be fun. It says, your body is your house. Deep inside is the special part that makes you who you are. Jesus wants to be with you deep inside. So he can show you his love and teach you and take care of you. It's like he's knocking at the door of your house or your heart. He calls, behold, and that word is just look and listen. When you hear him, you can open the door by asking Jesus to come and live in you. He promises that if you ask him to, he'll come in. And boys and girls, here's a picture of Jesus knocking on the door. And you can see that the door is on a heart. It even has windows there. 
All right, my friends, will you sing that with me? I'm just going to lay this down here. You have to get your door up. All right. And boys and girls, Mrs. Hilscher's sitting down, so I'm not going to step inside, but you can step inside when we get to that part, okay? You ready? Put your door up. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If any boy hear my voice, if any girl hear my voice and will open 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 the door i will come in good job friends that's great well i'm gonna say goodbye for now but tune in later because today is a friend's birthday we have a friend in our class whose birthday is today and we have a special surprise for later so tune in later bye bye boys and girls talk to you soon